now uh, I am going to tell a little bit about cardiovascular complications of diabetes. That is the most important part of diabetes control because patient usually dies from diabetes due to cardiovascular complications, either due to uh, myocardial infarction or stroke or any complication from peripheral vascular disease. So, uh, regarding uh, cardiovascular complications, patients uh, should be uh, judicious enough to control his diabetes properly because in future he has the two to four fold risk of developing cardiovascular complication or usually half the patients with diabetes die from myocardial infarction or stroke. So, uh, diabetic patients should not neglect themselves uh, for, uh, about uh, regarding the control of diabetes. He should uh, take his drugs regularly, he should take his diet properly and he should remain active as far as possible. I am going to tell regarding uh, daily routine of management of diabetes. Uh, the patient uh, must remain active always and uh, he must walk uh, around 30 minutes a day, minimum 30 minutes a day for 5 days a week and uh, he should remain active in the, in the room or outside and he should take his diet uh, judiciously and he should take his drugs regularly uh, and uh, regarding the anxiety level we should remain stress free as far as possible this is regarding uh, daily routine of management of diabetes Regarding diabetes and pregnancy, some patients develop diabetes that is high blood sugar during pregnancy. Those patients are called gestational diabetic patients. And type 1 or type 2 diabetes patients also have their pregnancy and they can be managed well by uh, improvement of blood sugar level by giving insulin in both the cases. In gestational diabetes patients also, patient must go to the doctor regularly uh, and regular check of blood sugar level is important if necessary doctor can manage the patient with lifestyle modification and insulin uh, that's regarding just uh, diabetes and pregnancy because uh, in pregnancy diabetes can do a lot of damage to the child uh, in future I am going to speak a little bit about uh, diabetic emergence. Diabetic emergency uh, is of two types. It is about high blood sugar, that is, uh, blood sugar level is very, very high, that is called hyperglycemia, or blood sugar level is very low, that is called hypoglycemia. When blood sugar level gets very low, patient may become uh, senseless, unconscious and uh, with profuse sweating and tachycardia and if blood sugar level gets very very high patient may get into diabetic coma and in uh, diabetic coma patient must get admitted in a hospital but in hypoglycemia case uh, management can be done outside uh, in as opd basis at home also that's regarding diabetic emergence I am going to tell a little bit about emergency management of hypoglycemia uh, at uh, home or at OPD. Uh, when patient uh, gets unconscious due to very low blood sugar level, it is usually below 70 mg per deciliter. 
then uh, patient becomes unconscious or confused, delirious and with profuse sweating. Then patient uh, can be given a uh, little bit uh, sugar, about 15 gram. It is, there is a law of 15. Then uh, we can measure the amount of uh, blood sugar level. If it remains slow, then we can uh, give another uh, 15 gram blood sugar after 15 minutes. Then uh, if the level does not become high, then we can give another 15 gram. But uh, if the patient does not improve uh, with uh, blood sugar, uh, regarding blood sugar, then patient must get admitted in a uh, hospital. Uh, patient can take uh, soda also with sugary soda, that is cold drinks, then uh, diet cola is not to be given. A one tablespoon of honey is also useful for uh, blood sugar uh, improvement. So, uh, hypoglycemia can be managed easily at home or at OPD basis.